Today we're learning how to make this Apple-inspired PowerPoint presentation. We're looking at different slides to present the team, go through a timeline, make a SWOT analysis, and also give some indication on the budget. First, let's start with a blank slide and add a background picture. You can find this one on Unsplash and also add the Apple logo. Let's duplicate the slide, so Ctrl D or right click duplicate, remove the logo and add a white rectangle on top of the entire picture. We're going to make it transparent, so right click format and add some transparency to the white rectangle. This is easier to put text on top of the image. Now the image in the back, to make it less distracting, right click format and we're going to add some blur. So artistic effects and then blur. You can play around with the radius to increase it and that makes it a lot less distracting if you want to put some text on it. Let's add a title, welcome, increase the font size, make it white and center it in the middle. Alt drag or option drag the title to create a duplicate and reduce the font size for sub header or subtitle. Let's duplicate the slide and on the second slide add some text. Play around with the positioning and maybe also add a call to action button. So a rounded rectangle with some fill or let's go without fill and an outline and add some text to it. Add to calendar. And then on the first slide, let's remove the text and call to action and then add a transition morph so it flies in nicely on the slide. And from the first to the second slide, let's add just a fade. Perfect. Duplicate the slide and move everything upwards so with the morph effect, everything flies to the top. And then we can start working on the content of the second slide. So position the Apple logo maybe in the middle. And then let's make four chapter titles. First one for the team, so rounded rectangle. Make it white, white outline, team, create a duplicate for the second one. Copy them to the right side, change the names, timing, SWOT and budget. And then the title for the first one, meet the team. Next thing is we add a picture and then on the crop you can crop the shape to a circle and crop aspect ratio 1 to 1 to make it a perfect circle. Let's add some text, description and maybe a title for the name. I'll select them all aligned to center. And then everything is nicely aligned. Select them all, alt drag to create copies. There you go. You can change the picture if you want. I'm not going to do it in the tutorial. Select the content, copy it and put it on the left side so it flies out on the new slide and then start creating the timeline, which are just circles as milestones. Create three of them without fill, just the outline. And then copy some text below it. Milestone one. And then let's connect the dots with a simple line from the first to the second. Make it white, increase the weight of the line and then copy it over from the second to the third. Now the text, we do the same. We copy it from milestone three and milestone two. Let's maybe put it on top so it's nicely balanced and add a title timeline. Now let's also indicate which chapter title we are working on. In this case, the timing, and let's do the same for the theme. If you want a more transition, select the timeline, go to the previous slide and paste it on the right, so outside of the screen. So with the transition, the morph transition, it will nicely fly in the screen like this. Let's duplicate the slide and work on the third one. This meet the team can go because it's not relevant anymore and the timeline can shift and take its place. Now we're working on the SWOT analysis. So let's change the chapter title quickly and mark the SWOT one 
as white. For the spot we want four quadrants, so we're going to shapes and create not the entire rectangle but one with a, a rounded corner. Let's make it white, reduce the size a little bit, and then drag, I'll drag or option drag and give them a quarter turn. So they all connect nicely together with rounded edges. Add some text onto it, so a big letter S, increase the font size by a lot, and then create copies for W, O, and T. Let's also change the color so it looks like it's shining through the white. You can do it with the color picker. Copy some text from the previous slide, because we have that available, and make sure everything aligns nicely to the box, so align to the left. Alt drag to create copies and do the same on the other side. Change the titles. Great. Let's look at the last slide, so the budget. And we're going to take a circle which we can modify. Make it white, turn it, and let's put a percentage in there. 75%, increase the font size. I always decrease the font size by the percentage, I think it looks nice. Paste some text next to the timeline. Budget margin or budget indication doesn't really matter, and align everything nicely. Just double check that all of the morph transitions are selected. So budget, you want to copy that to the right. And then you want to make sure that the previous slide is on either side so it flies in nicely. You don't have to do that, it's a nice extra. Duplicate the first slide and put it at the end as a closing slide at the fade effect. And then let's preview. You can make modifications as you like, but now you know how to do it. Thanks a lot for watching, really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. See you next time.